we put too much hard work in this offseason to, to sit around and watch other teams play. The number one guy that spent by far the most time here all summer was Roy Hibbert. Roy's had a determination to himself this summer that uh, you know, really started to show up in the summer league. Well, he got killed, no call, but Hibbert is right there, the hungry, hungry Hibbert. Hungry, hungry. You know, he's doing things now that he wasn't doing at the beginning of the year. You're going to see growth in his, his mobility, growth in his, uh, in his offensive rebounding. Well, Roy brings a year under his belt, and I, Jason, I really think that helps. The fact that he's been out there and seen some of these people, and he will not be in intimidated or shoved around quite as much by some of the so-called Muslim in the league. I think Roy's gotten quicker with his feet. I think he's gotten smarter. And uh, I think that we're going to see a dramatic improvement in his game uh, at both ends of the floor. I think that he's worked hard all summer. He's going to be a better player. Why was it important for you to be here this summer? So on a, not just for the organization, but you know, to prove to myself, you know, I'm dedicated and I want to work and I want to help improve this team. And, one of the things I wanted to do was work my behind off in the gym here every day. What did you work on specifically? Just my strength, just uh, being able to stay low and, 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 and be able to finish in the paint and try to stay out of foul trouble. What do you anticipate competition being like in terms of minutes? Uh, you know, for, you know, coach said from the start, there's no defined roles. Everybody's going to have to earn their roles, so we're going to have to compete against each other. And then, you know, and then whoever's playing at the time, we're going to support them. And when it's our chance to, to, to be called to go out there on the court, we're going to go out there and play extremely hard. What kind of feedback have you received from the coaching staff? Just keep good work. You know, I'm not the type of guy that really needs a pat on the shoulder. You know, I just need to go in there and just work hard. And some days coach gets on me, some days he's patting me on the back. But, you know, I, I learned just to keep going. You know, I don't want to get too high on myself or get too low on myself. What can fans expect from you this year? A lot of hard work and dedication on that court. Every time I step on that court, I'm just going to go hard. It may not look as, you know, I may not be my best or I play as good as other superstars maybe, but I'm out there giving it my all every time. With the team playing every night for pride, what does that mean to you? I just think about, you know, the last game, uh, I believe it was Milwaukee. We knew we weren't going to make the playoffs, and I just remember Josh and Robert going out there, and we probably had one of his best games of the season. We played extremely hard. Obviously, he's from India, and that just you know shows how much he cares about this team and, and what you know this team needs to bring every night. And even though it was the last game, and we were about to go into off season, and, and the fact that we had to watch other teams play, and we were kind of close, you know, it just shows that you know if we could bring that every night. There's no there's no chance, there's no reason why we can't be playing uh, for a couple more months.